Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 102 for the Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a text area that allows your users to scroll through your content. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to create a text area that users can scroll through the content. So before we actually move forward, I want to say one other thing. There's actually more than one way to create scrollable content on your website and the text area is just one method. So if there's another method that you want to use, just let me know and I'll try to do my best to help you. Also, if you don't follow this tutorial very well, it's a good chance that you probably want to learn about HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And you can do that by going to my web design channel that talks about HTML. And I might put a link to the information in this video so if you do see a button on screen right now it means that I put a label that allows you to click it and go to the HTML tutorials and it should help you to better understand what I'm about to show you so let's go ahead and get started The first thing that you want to do is go to your toolbar and select the rectangle quick shape and go ahead and draw a rectangle in your workspace and then go ahead and right click on that rectangle and go to web properties and when you get to web properties click on the placeholder tab because we're going to put a HTML placeholder in and then when you get to that tab look for the option that says replace with HTML code and it's going to be the HTML code for the body section so go ahead and left click on that and within here we're going to go ahead and write our code so the stuff that I write on screen is what you want to write so I'm going to write an angle bracket text area and that's what we're going to create a text area and then you hit the space bar and we're going to write read only and that's basically going to make it where the text that's in the text area and it's going to make it in a way where it's not going to be able to be deleted so if someone comes to your website they're not going to be able to accidentally delete the text that's in the text area although if they were to delete that it's going to come right back when they refresh the page or if they leave the page and come back it's not going to be a permanent change if they were to change it but anyway, I'm going to use read only just to prevent them from deleting it by accident when they visit the website. So let's go ahead and hit the space bar key again. And this time we're going to write the word rows. And that's going to create the number of rows that are available in this text area. And then I'm going to hit equals and then quote. And I'm going to put in about 25 rows. Put another quote, space bar key, and create a space between that. And we're going to write COLS, which stands for columns. Write the equal sign quote and I'm going to put about 50 columns and then hit the letter I mean I'm sorry hit the quote key again and then space bar key actually we're done we don't need to create another space between that so let's go ahead and create another angle bracket and that's our first part of our code for our text area so we define the number of rows the number of columns and we also set it to be read only so go ahead and hit the enter key and go to the next line and this is where we're going to type our text we're going to write whatever we want in there so I'm going to write this is a text area demonstration video tutorial and then I'm gonna actually just copy this and paste it a bunch of times and you don't have to do that I'm just doing that so that I can fill up that text area and I'm gonna do it like that and I'm gonna actually resize this window so that you can see everything and I'm actually gonna create a space between this first tag that I created here my text area just to kind of separate things out I like to keep things organized and then at the end of this text we're gonna create our closing tag so let's go ahead and write an angle bracket forward slash text area and then another angle bracket and make sure you spell text area right I just spelled that wrong so I had to change it if you misspell the tag name it will not work correctly so make sure that you spell that tag name right it should be text area and also make sure that you're formatting for your opening tag which is the this first tag up here is exactly how mine looks with the exception of the rows and the columns and the read only you don't have to have the read only and you don't have to have the same number of values that I have for rows and columns but the text area and the angle brackets they all have to be it has to be exactly how you see it on my screen here otherwise it will not work properly and I'll show you what will happen if we spell the text area incorrectly so let's go ahead and hit OK, hit apply, and I'm going to actually regenerate placeholder so that it regenerates it in my workspace. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel and I'm probably gonna resize this text area just to make sure that I've got everything in there that should be so you can see that the scroll bar is now appeared and I'm gonna keep resizing it until I get everything to appear that needs to so now I see all the scroll bar now so I'm gonna go ahead and go to file and preview web page and you'll see that we have a scroll bar now with text in it. And let's go ahead and preview that in our web browser. And when you get to the web browser, you'll see that some of it's still actually cut off. So I'm going to have to go back to the program and resize it some more just to make sure that everything shows. Okay, now it should show. So let's go ahead and go back to our web browser one more time and I'm gonna click on Firefox and it's not quite everything there but I'll resize it down so you can see you see at the corner the right hand corner at the bottom here there's actually a resize handle to resize the content so you can stretch it out a little bit depending on what you set your variables for for the rows and columns but I think you get the general idea I think you understand that you have to keep resizing it to make sure that everything displays so I'm not gonna make a tutorial on resizing it but if you try to click in here and, and type anything, nothing's going to work. If you try to delete anything, it will not work because it's set to read only. But let's go ahead and go back to the program. And this time, I'm going to purposely spell the text area wrong, just to show you that it's very important that everything I showed you on screen is exactly how I had it. And if you go back to this and let's say that I erase part of the text area, hit OK, hit Apply. And even in our, our workspace, you'll see that it just becomes some text on our website. If we go to File, Preview Web Page, you can see that it's just some text here in our workspace. So it's very, very important that you have the tag spelled correctly or you will get mistakes like that. So I'll put this on screen again so that you can see everything that I have here and make sure that it matches what what I have on screen. I'm gonna fix this first before you, I tell you to make sure it matches it. But look at this on screen. Make sure that you have the proper tags written correctly and exactly how I have it on screen. So I'm sorry to make the tutorial so long to emphasize this, but it's very important as you can see what would happen if you did not follow it correctly. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Give us thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, embed, or share this video if it was helpful and uh, if you have any other requests for tutorials definitely let me know and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day